Your universal quick fit is an excellent tool. With it, you can pick up most existing pin-on buckets on the market, and it is sufficiently strong and robust enough to tackle the most demanding of jobs. Before changing an attachment, find a flat and even piece of ground. This will make the work easier when connecting. Move the dipper arm towards its inner end position. This will cause the mechanical safety arm to fall forwards, making it possible to operate and move the quick fit cylinder. If you do not do this, the mechanical arm will block the hydraulic release cylinder, and you will be unable to open the quick fit mechanism. Press the safety switch in the cab to operate the hydraulic cylinder. This opens the wedge under the front pin. As this is a safety switch, you must first press the red knob on top of the quick fit switch to be able to press the main switch down. As the operator, make sure this switch is always intact and functional. If you should touch this safety switch by accident, you won't lose the attachment because the switch is unable to move down. A warning symbol is then activated on the display and a buzzing sound can be heard to warn you that the attachment is now unlocked. Now move the attachment to the ground and start to operate the bucket cylinder, open bucket, in order to disconnect the attachment. Never take a chance of operating the quick fit circuit if you are not 100% certain about safety. Connect a new attachment, or in this case, the same bucket, but from the other side. The quick fit is symmetrical, so you can connect from both sides. Your digging equipment can be used to turn the bucket, but you can, of course, also reposition the excavator. Curl the quick fit hooks around the pin on top of the attachment. Make sure that both the attachment and the excavator are standing on a flat and even surface to make the connection easier. When you feel you have the quick fit body close to the attachment, press the switch for the quick fit hydraulics. This time it is not necessary to first press the red switch. A normal switch operation is sufficient. The wedge goes around the front pin and the attachment is locked. Make a backhand test on the ground to ensure that the attachment is secure. It is never wrong to stretch your legs. To be absolutely certain about the locking procedure, leave the cab and visually check that the wedge is in the correct position. Delete and confirm the alarm on the display using the switch placed to the left hand side of the quick fit switch. Now the excavator knows that the attachment is hooked on and you can continue with your work.